It's an ambitious project, and after 17 years, it's finally reached the halfway mark. The Marae Totara Tree Trust plans to fence, plant and protect nearly 90 kilometres of the Marae Totara Riverbank in Hawke's Bay. The project was first launched by local fisherman John Scott, who was appalled at the river's decline. But now things are changing, with the native plantings along the river providing a corridor for wildlife from Te Awonga on the coast towards central Hawke's Bay. We have planted half of it, half of both sides of the river. Um, we've perhaps picked the easier pieces uh, where we can get fences. Um, and we used to chug along at about planting two or three thousand trees a year. Uh, but recently, through the generosity of the uh, Department of Conservation public funding, um, we've been able to lift that up to about 15,000 trees a year. Hawke's Bay Regional Council has an important role to play, removing willow trees which slow the flow and cause flooding. The third partner is landowners, who agree to covenant riparian margins. And the cost side of things is really good, you know, they've helped out a lot and we haven't had to put much into it. All up, including the other end, oh, close to four hectares of grazing gone, but I mean, you don't, you don't want to graze that close to the river anyway. You know, there's the whole effluent going into the water side of things and going to build up the bird life and that'll trickle down the ecosystem to all the fish in the river, you know. It's going to rejuvenate everything, so uh, yeah, I think it's from a farm side of things. May have lost a bit, but it's, um, I think it, it, the benefits outweigh it. With tougher country yet to fence, it could take 20 more years to complete the project, depending on the generosity of donors. Local resident and internationally acclaimed designer David Truebridge has committed his company as a permanent sponsor. We're a clean company. We like to think we're very environmentally responsible. We do everything we can within the company to reduce our environmental impact. But there are some things we can't do anything about. We're responsible for a certain amount of carbon emissions. So our idea is to offset those carbon emissions that we can't do anything about by planting trees. And so our relationship with Marae Totara Tree Trust evolved out of that. The lay of the land is not the only tough aspect of the second half of the project. Some landowners are reluctant to take part, but the tide is turning. When they fence an area off, that's less grazing they're going to have for their animals. But as time's gone on, a lot of change in public attitude between 2002 and 2019. And uh, public attitude now is a little bit more generous towards the rehabilitation of, of rivers and just the planting of native trees for all the benefits that, that they have. So, um, yeah, we are absolutely dependent on cooperation from the landowners and we're grateful for that too. Patrick O'Sullivan, Local Focus.